of a stub spindle on the spindle molder. Now, typically, spindle molders, uh, uh, certainly of the European class, have removable tops is how they're referred to and that you can pull a spindle out and replace it. This one is a stub spindle and you notice it doesn't have a nut and a, a, it, it has a, a center bore. So let me show you why, sorry, why such a spindle is useful. Well, this is a white hell block with a counter bore made to attach to a spindle molder. It can attach to a regular molder. It is a scriber rebate block that is capable of chip limiting uh, profile knives. So it can be used as a scribe and all kinds of stuff. So if we drop that onto this spindle, we can attach this cutter block in such a way that the spindle will not interrupt of it. work floating over top of it now that's what, what what good would that be well first of all it would place our cutter block close to the bearing block because we're sitting down at the base and means that our diameter of our cutter block doesn't need to exceed uh, you, you know very large because to get a ten end or whatever we're doing we can float over top Smaller blocks in general, um, and we're talking two knife heads, which is what this is, are best run at high speed, okay? The larger a disc becomes, um, the, the more refined the machine is. And of course, large discs running at high speed to get knife marks per inch, doesn't matter if it's a big disc, the peripheral speed will still not produce knife marks per inch. It will it will produce um, peripheral speeds that can that can aid in the cutting. But small blocks can run at higher speeds, meaning that the quality of the cut is easier on both the machine and the head. So that's why you would use a stub spindle. Now the lovely thing about China, if there is something, is about this tap. I think it was eight bucks. And it's this, uh, this, it, you'll know, it won't go in there. And that's because this is a left hand tap. Okay. So the problem with this type of connection is there is no, uh, uh, you know, if we run this in reverse, we could, we could have a problem with that. Now, some manufacturers like Felder might put a little pin on either side. Uh, but, you know, for $7 and uh, you can buy a left hand threaded nut, and these are like five bucks. Uh, I can now manufacture these and um, uh, use them for left hand operation. Anyway, I thought I would explain the stub spindle and its importance. I do not see this um, in North America. This is a European concept, which um, is not well known. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will be producing some spindles for the Robinson uh, and building a tending machine using small disks at high speed. Anyway, please comment.